in this tutorial we will see how to work on microsoft powerpoint you can start powerpoint from your all programs wherever you have created the shortcut now this is the first screen that you see when you start powerpoint we have different options here these are all different types of themes and templates which we would look at a later stage at the moment we are going to start from a blank presentation this is our blank presentation now remember that in powerpoint this blank page that you see here this is called a slide and we will have multiple slides for our presentation this slide by default has two objects or two controls on it which you will select and delete if you want to type something on the slide you need to have a text box you cannot type directly on the slide so we will select the text box from here from the drawing group we can you can see that we have different shapes and lines here but we are going to select the text box and then you can come and type into this text box now this text box you can format this text box or in fact you can format the text inside this text box exactly the same way as you do in microsoft word you can see here we have the font group so all these things can be applied to this text box we will select this we can increase the size we can make it bold or italic we can change the font style we can change the color so this way you can format this text box if you still want to format it further you can come and click this format tab here Okay, if you want to add one more slide to your presentation, you simply need to come here and click this button. If you click this one directly, you will get a slide with already existing text boxes. So what you can do here at the moment is again delete these text boxes so you can have a blank slide. You can get the blank slide from here also if you click this arrow and here you have the option of a blank slide and you have some other options which we would look at later. Now once again we click the blank slide so we have the second slide. So now we can add whatever type of data we want to add or whatever information we want to add into these slides. This can be our first slide which is usually known as the title slide where you display your name or the title of the topic and some other details while your information starts from the second slide so this way you can have more than one slide in your presentation you can come here and select as many slides as you want to add if you want to change their placement let's say we call this slide as If you have a text box or any other 
type of object on your slide you can align that object from here from the arrange button you have the option here align and we can say it's center and let's say middle so we have this one in the middle you will copy this one come and paste it here and type 2 paste it here and press 3 and then paste it here and press 4 so like this we have these numbers on our slides now for some reason you want to change their position you can simply drag these slides like this so their position can be changed if you want to delete a slide you can right click and press delete or simply press the delete key if you want to insert a slide let's say between 3 and 5 so you simply need to click here in the middle you will see that the insertion point is now between 3 and 5 and you can come here and select the blank slide so like this you have your slide at the exact position where you wanted it to be okay now we will look at uh, how to change the background color of the slide and there are some more options with uh, changing the color also this is our slide you can start the formatting background by right clicking the slide and clicking format background here we have these options or you can start the background formatting by going to the design tab and on the right side you would see here format background we have the same thing here okay now we have the first option which is a solid fill this is selected we can come and change the color of our slide from here so this is a solid fill now remember one thing like this is the this is only one slide that i'm changing now for some reason we want to have the same color in all the slides so what you can do once you have selected the color from here you can come and click this apply to all you can see all the slides have the same color now or you can have different colors for different slides like this second option we have here is the gradient fill gradient fill is when you have more than one color mixed into one another like here they have given us this is the gradient stops that we have here you can have multiple of these you just need to click here and you will have extra but for now we are going to remove these you can select and press the delete key it will be removed now we have two stops here so this one is selected i can come and select the color for the first one let's say blue and now this one is also selected i can now you can see here the slide has two different colors now you can change how much one of the color you want in the slide you can see now it's just one color if i slide this one to the left completely it's the a yellow color so we can set this one up and then if once you are in the gradient here you have some default options also now let us remove this one again once again 
you have some options here also so we have the first one linear now here you have I mean you can select this one which makes it easy for you like we are going to select the let's say this one and if you want to slide this you can see it goes this one is moving diagonally in fact then you have some more options here you can work on these ones also so this was the second option of the gradient fill now we come to the third one picture or texture fill now here we have some default textures you can select from here also you can set the transparency you can scale it now this depends on the file that you have used for the texture we can select a texture file also you can do that also here we have a file for the texture we will insert this now you can see here this is just one file and it is covering the whole slide now we have selected this one tile picture as a texture so you will have different options now these texture should be created in such a way that you don't see these separate files like here we can see each texture separately so there are different softwares which you can use to create texture files okay now we will add a texture file that is completely seamless you will not see these separations as a separate images now we will click this this is a single file we can click this now you see that you don't see separate file you see single image now if we try to scale it also you would see still the image doesn't spoil still you see as the whole thing as a single image so this way you can add different types of textures we can try with some other file also you can see here this one also looks as a single image so these are some of the examples of texture files now let us come to the next option which is pattern fill now these are some default pattern that you can use here and you can change the color of these patterns also like here it gives you the option of foreground let's say we select blue background we select red now you can see all of them you can see that the background is now red while the foreground is blue let's make it yellow so this is how you can add these pattern into your slide okay we have our five slides here we will just have a look at the slideshow what it means by a slideshow once you have completed your presentation with all the data you can view it as 
a slideshow you just need to come and click this button here which says slide show so let us just click this and see this is our first slide now when I click the mouse button it goes to the next slide and then if I click again it goes to the third slide and so on at the last slide if I click again the presentation will finish so this is called slideshow you can get this one from here also you can see the tab which says slideshow here it says from the beginning and here it says from the current slide let's say we are on slide 3 so if I say from the beginning it starts from 1 again but if I'm on slide 3 and I say from the current slide it will start from the that slide so this is called a slideshow now we will look at how to insert different objects into our slides to insert an image or a shape you will go to the insert tab here we have some options like pictures and shapes we are going to look at these two especially the first one this is our slide let us get rid of this okay here we have an empty slide we will come to the insert tab and we have pictures here okay we can select some pictures from here let's say this one. once you insert any object into the slide you will get one extra tab here this is the format tab especially for this image now now you can resize this image like this you can place it anywhere on your slide or you can use these formats to change the look of this image like for example you can see So like this you have different options from here or you can have borders you can have different picture effects which you can choose from here We can look at something else here also. Now let's say for some reason we have more than one picture on our slide. Now we have these two pictures like this. Let's say for some reason we want to have this one to be on top of this picture so you can select this and you can come and click this one bring forward like this so now this picture will be on top of this one another thing if you want to crop this picture let's say there is too much black area here we want to reduce this you can select the picture and click crop now you can see you have the option of you need to click this one so that you can crop it now we will look at uh, some more basic formatting of our images we come to the format tab and here we have the option of removing the background so in this case the background is white so let's see how we can do that once you click this you would see all this pink color that you have here this all would be removed like if I click this one keep changes you will see all is gone but there are some other parts of this picture that are also missing like you can see from here or from here 
you will click reset so that it comes back to its original shape now again we'll click here now what we have to do is we don't want to delete this part but we want to remove these white backgrounds now let's see how we can do that now remember one thing this is just a very basic editing tool so if you have an image that has less detail that would be done very easily and more perfectly but if you have a complicated image like this one then it might be a little difficult let us see here now you can see that this part we want this to be included in our picture so here we have some options which says mark areas to keep mark areas to remove let's first go with this one so this is the area that we want you can see now it's visible and there was one here this one now you can see this one is also visible now and let's see if we can get this one but when we remove the white color this is also going to disappear now let's come to the mark areas to remove now for example we don't want this one Okay, now we can click this one, keep changes. Now you can see it looks much better than before. Let us try the same thing on this image also. Now you can see it has already selected the area. Now let us just click keep changes. You can see it looks much better so this way you can remove the background do remember that this is not a perfect uh, tool to remove the background we can use some other software to do this okay now we will see how to insert shapes we have the insert tab here okay we will come to this slide we can delete this now on the insert tab you have the option here illustration group from here you can select shapes so here you have a lot of different types of shapes we will just add some of them Okay, now we have these different shapes. Once you click the shape, you will have this tab here, the format tab. You can change the colors of these shapes. And then once again you have all different options that you can select from here. Okay, we can fill this shape with a picture. You can select the shape shape fill from here and then select the picture option now we will be selecting the picture from our system so we'll select this option we can come here and select any picture now you can see we have that picture inserted into the shape now you can apply all the properties of the shape on this image okay we will look at some more options that you can apply on a shape we will change the background color for this 
okay we will insert some shapes from here let's say Now you can see we have these three shapes. Okay, we have all these three images together. Now what we can do, we can group all these three together so that we will have one image you have to select all of them pressing the control key and once you have selected all the images you can right click group and group so now you have one image you can see here we can treat this one as a single image if you want to ungroup them simply right click group and ungroup if you want to add text to these shapes you need to right click and edit text you can also format the text like this You can move these images with the arrow keys also. We have some more options that we can apply on shapes. For example, we have a shape here. This is a right angle triangle. We have it like this. Now once you right click and format shape, you will have some options here we can come to the size option now you can see we can set the size very perfectly for this shape let's say we make this one to the height and the width also two so this can be a perfect right angle triangle this side and this side are same You have all these options but we can move this one here manually instead of setting it from here now one other thing we can also rotate this shape we can do the rotation from here also or we can do it from here also you can see this now let's say we have this shape and we copy we have four of them now so let's say this one we can rotate this ninety degrees and we can place it here similarly this one So we have our four shapes, we can color them. Like this. And again, we can select all of them, right click and group. So we have one single shape. 
which you can even rotate from here. Now we will look at slide transitions. This is the tab here for transitions. Transition means when a slide moves from slide from any slide to any slide you would see some sort of transition that is changing of one slide into another slide with some different type of animation. So from here we can select the transition like we are on the first slide. Let's say we can put a transition on the first slide also. You can see here when I click this it shows me that what would happen when this slide would come on the screen I mean when this will be displayed let's say we put this one for this now we'll put the other transitions here let's say you can click and select different transitions here let's put this one the curtains for the first slide you have all different options here you can select anyone now we are going to run the slideshow once again to see how all these transitions look like we will come and click this slideshow and the shortcut to start the slideshow is F5 now we are on the slide 1 so if I click it goes to the next slide and you can see the transition also now I will click again you can see it shows you the transition effect and this is the last slide so these are called transitions okay with these transitions we can also add sound to it let's say this is our first slide and the animation that we have here is this one we want to add some sound to this transition you are on the transition tab on the right side you would see the option of sound so here we have some default sound let's say we come to the clapping sound here so you can see that let's say We will add another sound. So we can have all these different types of sound. We have all these sounds. Let's run our presentation. So this is how you can add sounds to your transition now we will have a look at animations to add animations you will go to the animations tab now here you can find a lot of different animations for example let's click this one 
this is our object when you click the animation it would show you how it will be displayed now you can click the second object and select whichever animation you want you can go to the other slide and then again select other animation once you are selecting animations it gives you an option here for animation pan so here you have the more detail on that animation for example we have selected the fly in animation on this you can see this now if i click this this is the animation that shows here if i double click this i will have this pop up and here we have a lot of different options like we can see here the timing option duration we can set it something like this let's say for 2 seconds now you would see that the movement is slow so like that you can add different animations to different objects now once you have selected this animation here you have some different options for that animation like for example this one flies in from the bottom let's say we want this to be from the left side then we have this one again we choose the fly in and this time we do it from the right side and we select this one fly in again so if we play this slide so you will get something like this okay here we can see one more animation okay you can see here this animation we have the spin animation now if i click the slide show now if you click this animation pan and you have selected this object and double click this animation here you would see it gives you some option 360 clockwise you can make it counter clockwise also and the timing here you can see here it says repeat and if we click this one until the end of the slide or we can say let's let's say until next click now let's go to the slide show now i will click and then wait you can see it keeps on going on it doesn't stop when i click again only then it's going to stop we can have a look at one more example here the same spin option we are going to select for this one you can see that and also for this one now you can see both of them are spinning on the same side what i want to do here that this one goes clockwise while this one goes anti clockwise so let's say this is the one it is clockwise timing we can leave it like that we will check this later let's come to this one and i will make this one counter clockwise second thing now both of these would work one after the other for example when i click you can see this one works when i click again this one goes on but we don't want that we want both of them to be rotating at the same time so 
you will come here and again select this option now here it says start on click no we will say it start with previous and the same here we will say with previous now now let's have a look at this you can see here both of them are rotating now we can select the timing also repeat until next click and for this one also you can see it started on its own now it will keep going on like that until we click again so this is how you can create different types of animations and here you have a lot of different options also.